Hello everyone, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. I got a few requests on how to get a pre-stack kill um, against the OP8 Dragons of Destruction. So, the first thing you're going to need is a low-level sniper rifle in order to stack Critical Ascension on the Mimics without killing them. You'll, th you'll then need a non-elemental sniper rifle for pulling down the dragons, as if you pull them down with a uh, elemental weapon and apply a damage over time or a slag effect, they will not be able to be slagged once they hit the ground. A fire weapon is going to help you kill um, every dragon but Incinerator. Incinerator is the only one that resists fire. And uh, we're going to have the slag pimpernel just for slag in case we need it. We'll have the blockade providing our shield uh, capacity and stuff. We're going to have the chaotic neutral rogue calm boosting fire rate and velocity as well as magazine size. These are all helpful for uh, stacking critical ascension. We're going to have a st stockpile relic boosting sniper rifle max ammo capacity and a longbow slag transfusion grenade to provide slag and healing. This is our skill build. Obviously the most important thing here is uh, critical ascension for us and everything else is going to help as well. These will uh, grim follow through and innervate will provide a little bit of survivability for us. Rising shot, ambush, headshot, velocity, kill confirmed are all going to help provide damage for us. Same with the death mark bonus from death blossom. And a couple other things are going to boost our accuracy, reload speed, magazine size, and this one also boosts reload speed as well. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is mark, make our way towards the mimic room by coming out this left wing and jumping on these rocks over here. Now you can go either way here. You can jump up these rocks over here and get to it this way, or you can go over on the platform over there. It's your choice, really. But the mimic room is right down here. Now the mimics are pretty slow, so don't be afraid just to come in here and open up all their boxes at once. That's what you're going to want to do. They won't be able to catch you. They're really slow. They're very likely to get caught on stuff as well. So take note of that and try not to get any of them caught in this room if you can help it. Group them up uh, a little bit in the middle here before you, as you can see one is stuck here already, um, before you lead them out the door here because otherwise they might all get caught and then you won't have enough to get themselves stuck in this area. So just lead them up this little hill. They'll eventually stop at a certain distance. Once they reach that distance, throw your decoy a little bit over in the corner and make your way towards this little... Um, this little gap here in the wall. You'll notice this little place, uh, the mimics cannot spit their acid at you. It hits this little invisible wall, so you're safe. As you can see, some mimics get stuck as well. If a mimic doesn't get stuck, run over and throw your decoy back in the gap, and uh, you'll have one that gets stuck soon. It's uh, inevitable that one will get stuck eventually. Once you get one stuck, get ready to aim and stack as many criticals as you can. With a Vladov stock, uh, the fire pattern kind of pans out after a certain period of time, and uh, it will allow you to get the easiest amount of criticals with a Vladov sniper rifle. Um, that's not true for all sniper rifles, but for a Vladov sniper rifle, you're actually going to want a Vladov stock. I notice most people say that they want a doll stock on all their snipers. And while that's, you know, ordinarily a pretty good practice in this case, it's not true. It doesn't work true. This is an exception to the rule. Try to get above 200 stacks if you can. I know it can be difficult at times, especially if uh, your mimic is a little bit misbehaved. But once you have your stacks, begin the sprint towards the dragon arena as your stacks deplete. The more stacks you have at the start of the fight, the better prepared you'll be, obviously. The first dragon we're going to want to pull down is going to be um, Helium, because when Helium lands, it lands and sticks its head out and has that little, I don't know how long it is, maybe 10 second stage where it heals the other dragons. But in that portion, that little period of time, you'll be able to kill Helium and move on to the next dragon, setting you up well for the rest of the fight. 
Obviously, we're out of ammo, so as soon as we start the fight, we're going to want to head over and get some ammo from one of the ammo blessings on either side of the arena. Once you grab the ammo, be prepared to pop a shot with your non-elemental gun on Helium, who's going to pop up back here. Once you get a few shots on Helianth, come out here and throw your decoy more or less in the middle. This will give Helianth less of a chance to dirt and fly off again. Get it slagged and uh, get some critical hits on it. And then pick your next dragon that you're going to want to pull down. I would recommend the green dragon personally, but uh, it's your choice. So I went down there to damage over time, but that's okay, because uh, this dragon spits all these annoying little mini knees, uh, but they, they'll provide you with second wind opportunities if you need to. Get your critical hits on that one, and uh, go ahead and prepare to summon the next dragon, or lower it to the stage. I choose the purple dragon because it's easy enough to stack critical off of, and I'm not really worried about it leveling up incinerator at my current stat count. Make sure you pull incinerator down though with a non-elemental weapon. And at this time I like to go ahead and kill the little dragons so that they won't get in my way once incinerator is down. Even though he's leveled up one time with our 150 plus stack count, we'll be able to take him out fairly easily. Got a kunai stack on him, and there's his head, and there's his head. Alright, so that's how you would do it. Um, I definitely appreciate all you guys watching, and I wish you luck in hunting the OP8 dragons. Again, in this kill, I used a low level sniper to stack critical ascension, and then high level snipers for the kill once I had high critical ascension stacks. This was the skill build I used. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck on trying the strategy. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you next time.